Hello everyone. In this following video, I will show you that how you can create a USB bootable pen drive or flash drive for installing uh, any Windows like Windows 7, Windows 8, 10, Windows 11 or Windows servers as well. So what you need here, the first thing that you required is 8 gigabyte of pen drive or flash drive. And make sure you do not have data on it because it will gonna erase the data during um, the bootable creation the second thing you need is a Rufus tool this is a tool which will help you to create your pen drive bootable so I will drop this link in the video description you can go to this website official website and you can download uh, the exe file according to your system type so I have downloaded it already um, it is on my desktop screen here, Rufus 4.6 and uh, my pen drive is connected already in a USB port. You can see here 8 gigs of pen drive here. So I'm just going to bring up that Rufus tool now by just double clicking on it. Alright, here it is. So what, what we need to see, we just need to make sure that it has detected the pen drive. 8 gigs that I have already connected and it required a boot selection so we need to provide an ISO image of the windows or either for the server that you want to make it bootable so I'm just going to click on select and I have the windows 11 ISO image here already with me so I'll just use that one and I'll select open it will start doing a scanning image check and it may take few moments to check that image file whether it is you know a good image or not so as soon as it will complete with its checks it will give you an option here start and it says the status is ready so when you see that status is ready all the selections are by default we did not change anything here so we just need to click on start button and now it says that um, what do you want to do so it has some customized windows installation options over here so it says remove requirement for 4 GB RAM or whatever it is so I'll just uncheck it I don't need that create a local account so that depends if you like to create a local account uh, within the bootable drive or not so I'll just make all of them unchecked and I'll click OK here and it says okay this is a warning make sure you do not have any data on your pen drive because during the bootable installation it will erase all your data from your pen drive or the flash drive so I'm just going to click OK because I do not have any data on it and says deleting partition all right it, it looks it has few stages here task 105 or 205 all right now it has created a drive here you can see the notification started copying ISO files 0.5 percent so now it started the process and the process will take around um, you know approximately five minutes or maybe so depending on your system configuration um, and yeah this is how you can create a bootable pen drive or a flash drive for installing windows or windows servers so I'm just going to stop this video right now here because um, once it is done you just need to you close this refuse tool and you can eject your pen drive and use it on your system wherever you want to install the Windows or Windows Server. So this is how you can create a bootable pen drive or flash drive. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. PC Guide for You is here to help you with your issues. For more updates, subscribe now.